Procuri, and today I'll be showing you how to um, properly disassemble a storage server. Today we'll be working with um, a Dell PowerEdge R710, and I'll show you how to um, take apart the inside, the internal pieces. So first thing you want to do is you want to take the top off. So go ahead and take off. And as you can see, uh, inside the server we have all the internal parts. You want to take off the memory and CPU cover. We have our fans, we have our memory dims, we have our heat sinks. Underneath the heat sinks we have our processors. We have our HBA card, our cache, our iLock, our power supplies. In the front you see our hard drives. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out our uh, hard drives. As you see this is hot swappable. We're able to take it out. This is a 250 gigabyte 7.2K SATA drive. It's a two and a half inch. As you can see here, it's smaller than the three and a half inch. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take out the memory. Um, as you can see here, it has two prongs that keeps it in. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it out. Next, to get out our uh, central processing unit, we're going to take off the heat sink. And as you can see in these Dells, they just have two little clips that we're going to go ahead and pop up. And what the heat sink does is it takes the heat up from the hard drive and the fans blow that heat out. And as you can see here, this is a basic one. This is a basic heat sink. And as you see here, this is thermal paste. This thermal paste attaches the CPU to the heat sink itself. And next, we're going to take out our CPU, our central processing unit. And again, it just has one clip. Go ahead and pop it up. Be very careful that you do not touch any of the bottom. You don't want to get any, any fingerprints on here, as well as you don't want to clip any of these pins because they're very difficult to put back in place. And as you can see here, it has some thermal paste on it. What we're going to do is we're going to take just a little bit of cloth and go ahead and wipe that nice and clean because the information about the proc itself is on the top right there. So as you can see here, we have an SLB WZ, which is a 2.4 gigahertz. Because these are very valuable, we want to make sure that they stay safe. We're going to put it in an anti-static bag. We're going to wrap it up and make sure it doesn't get damaged. We're going to put it inside the proc box, which is also anti-static, and it's good for storage. Next, you're going to want to take out any cards or any um, accessories, auxiliary uh, cards that might be in the machine. As you can see here, we have an HBA, and I just took off this little uh, holder right here, and you pop it out of the riser card. Make sure you're being very gentle with it. This is a QLogic HBA. As you can see, it has two Ethernet ports right there. All right, next, we're going to take out the cash card. This is a little bit more difficult because it has a few more pieces to it. As you can see, it has these two cables that go to the back plane. And so we're just going to disconnect these two cables. Go ahead and get them out of the way. And as you can see, it's still connected to the riser card. So you want to go ahead and pop that out, being as gentle as possible with it. Once it's out, push back on one of these. Go ahead and grab it out. Finally, we're going to um, take out the power supplies. So as you can see, they're in the back. They have a little hook on them. Just move them out. 